is here of art and craft that speak to a great people with a great destiny. Their work enriches the festival and sustains livelihoods, bridging tradition with commerce and connecting enterprising Kenyans with visitors from near and far. Consequently, these artisans serve as our cultural ambassadors, deepening global connections with the Turkana heritage. This festival also serves to reaffirm our commitment to the preservation of the Turkana heritage and indeed all indigenous culture as our legacy to future generations. And in so doing, it enables us live up to our national cultural policy and align with international frameworks, including UNESCO 2003 Convention for the Safeguarding of Intangible Cultural Heritage and the 2005 Convention on the Promotion of Cultural Diversity. These institutions and instruments are brought to life by the traditions, performances, art, craft, and stories we celebrate here today. Culture, ladies and gentlemen, is not static. Rather, it is a living, creative, and dynamic expression of a society's values and a society's aspirations. The UNESCO frameworks highlight the need to protect traditions passed through generations and promote creativity in a globalized world. Tobongu Lore embodies these principles uniting cultural expression with global connectivity to create economic opportunities and ensure that traditions thrive for years to come. Looking to the future, I am proud to announce that the government of Kenya has embarked on the development of the Kenya Home of Humanity and Home of Human Origins Museum and Science Park a transformative project that will establish that will be established at Nomortunga in Kalokol as a world class center for scientific research cultural tourism and ecotourism i did promise when i was here last year na niliwaeleza kwamba mwaka uliopita ya kwamba nitatengeneza jopo maalum ambayo itashughulika na jambo hili na march mwaka hu 2004 i appointed a presidential task force to work on this aspect to make sure that we harness the great potential of the home of humanity here in turkana county and make sure that we establish a science park for research for innovation and for tourism here in Turkana County. Scientific discoveries such as the Turkana boy and the world's oldest stone tools have solidified Kenya's global credentials as the, as the home, as the first home of modern human beings. When completed, the museum and science park will celebrate these milestones, enable visitors to travel back in time to explore the origins of humanity and experience early technology. Turkana County is rich, not only in historic and geographic wonders, but it also abounds with unique wildlife, UNESCO listed sites, as well as the vast Lake Turkana Basin. The project will catalyze complementary investments to enhance infrastructure diversify tourism and position the region as a hub for research, nature enthusiasts, and adventurers alike. At this festival, this year demonstrates year after year the community is the engine of growth. The people are the primary stakeholders of our development agenda, even in the cultural and tourism sectors. We are committed to a community-based approach which ensures that residents benefit directly from job creation and improved livelihoods. 
Sustainable utilization of these opportunities will establish Kenya among global leaders in scientific discovery and niche tourism, accelerating economic growth here in Turkana and beyond. The recent recognition of Gedi ruins as a UNESCO World Heritage Site underscores Kenya's position as a top global tourism destination and reaffirms our commitment to preserving cultural and natural heritage. This aligns with our bottom-up economic transformation agenda's emphasis on inclusive growth and empowerment of people and communities at the bottom of the socio-economic ladder. By tapping into the tourism potential at sites like Gedi, we integrate our ambition to deliver prosperity with our vision to protect both ecological diversity and cultural integrity. As we celebrate Obong Lore, we must also reflect the deep connection between people of Turkana and their land, the unique, diverse, and abundant potential nestled in this region's desert within and around Lake Turkana, including its unique wildlife and other attractions and opportunities, are treasured resources not only for Turkana, but for all of Kenya. We must therefore be mindful of the fact that these plentiful resources are underpinned by fragile ecosystems which require careful management to preserve them for future generations. It is our duty, all of us, to do our part in promoting their sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, Turkana County and the entire region is fundamental for inclusive growth and for our national transformation agenda. Investments like the Lake Turkana Wind Power Project, which delivers clean energy and creates jobs while respecting environmental stewardship, are firmly aligned with this commitment and our broader vision for Turkana. Here, human talent and enterprise combine with culture and natural wealth to power economic growth. As we enjoy the performances that we have seen here, craft, cuisine, let us remember that Tobong Lore is our collective call to all humanity in our neighborhood, as well as farthest reaches of the earth, to come home and join us as we celebrate with humanity, protect our shared home, and cherish our cultural heritage. Let all the world know that no visa is required to come home and that Kenya is full of magical surprises to delight everyone. <laughs> the traditions we celebrate today are vehicles for transmitting our values, achievements, and aspirations to future generations. Let us stand 